is kind of the eminent plant designer, plantsman of the most recent times. Remnants of the train tracks that used to be here. It's part of the legacy of the High Line. I read a lot about Udolf's approach, and with the High Line, he really investigated the weeds that were actually growing on the tracks. He checked out the weeds that were colonizing and actually picked a few of them to integrate with the plantings. All throughout, you're surrounded by buildings, including these apartment buildings. Like, how retro-futuristic are these? It looks even better at night. Something that's really beautiful, that's throughout the garden, that looks not very interesting, nothing special, is this plant called Amsonia. And all these green herbaceous plants right here, all throughout the garden, this is Amsonia. In spring, it has light blue lilac colored star-like flowers, not very showy, but after that, it doesn't look much throughout the year, it's just green. But wait until fall and winter arrives. It produces this incredible yellow-orange fall color. So all throughout, you're going to see punches of yellow and orange. Ursus, a red bud. You can tell by the heart shaped leaves. It's probably Cercus canadensis. You can always tell by the seed pods too. You can see them right there. It goes deciduous and the flowers are kind of like a pink fuchsia color in spring. There's a California native version of this called Cercus occidentalis. It's not as attractive as the canadensis, but still nice. And here's a very mature one. It has a really nice canopy for shade with a broad-leaved foliage. So pretty. These berries are very juicy. I bet they're poisonous to humans. They look yummy though. I wonder what that is. Huh. What are these juicy berries? They look so yummy. really likes using lots of asters. So asters are part of the daisy family. You can see this is an aster. This one looks like a coreopsis. They're one of those plants that bloom in late summer, early fall. And here's Solidago, which is also part of the aster family. A lot of asters multiply by expanding their clump. Over the years, the clump gets larger. If it gets too large, you can always divide them every few years and then you can plant them in other parts of your garden or give them to friends. Isn't so pretty? I wonder what this grass is. 
He also uses a lot of grass-like plants for texture and to catch light and wind. tree guys what is that tree it looks so tropical is it kind of like an umbrella magnolia because check out the seed head does not look like a magnolia seed head I have a feeling that this is a magnolia I just wish there were labels here I would like to know what these plants are like UC Berkeley they have good labels check out those cones the flowers must be humongous I just wish I could see it throughout the seasons. Right now, I could only see it during summer, which personally, in my opinion, it's a boring season to check out this garden. But it's starting to change color, which is really nice because fall and winter is approaching. Nonetheless, I can't complain about summer. It's still gorgeous. Absolutely.